Hey guys, it's the Milkman, and I'm here today updating my guide on how to use any camera with Real Steady Go. It's a fairly simple process that doesn't need two separate explanation videos, so let me streamline this shit for you. The idea is that we're going to use the gyro data our flight controllers capture on a flight to produce a video file that's now compatible with RS Go, allowing you to stabilize footage from virtually any camera. Not only can this be used to open up the range of cameras you can use on your quad, but through the use of a standalone flight controller mounted to a camera, the possibilities are fairly expansive. So what do we need? Well, we really only need three pieces of software and a flight controller. The first is this one, this is black box to GPMF. This is what's going to take our, uh, our footage and our black box data and turn our video into a real steady go compatible file. Uh, secondly, you're going to need Black Box Explorer, or Black Box Log Viewer 3.5.0. I'm going to link these in the description. And uh, what this one is going to do is going to let you view your Black Box data and sync it with your video. Lastly, you'll need RS Go or the trial version. So before you go out to fly, you're going to want to empty out your flight controller's Black Box. So we're going to pop into our configurator. I'm using Emo Flight. You can use anything you want to use. And we're going to plug in. And we're going to navigate down to our black box tab. We're going to click Erase Flash right here. We're going to wait for that process. Um, most configurators will look the same here. If you have an option to change speeds, you want to set it to 1 kilohertz just to be safe. I haven't properly tested the 500 hertz yet, so feel free to try it out if you really want to save flash space, but it's a minuscule amount. A side note here, there are different options to solve the 8 megabyte issue. There are flight controllers with SD card slots that'll allow you to log up to 4 gigabytes of flat black box data, and you can actually modify a micro SD adapter to be able to log your black box data. More on that in another video. There are also small loggers you can purchase for this reason, but if you're going this route, be warned. You cannot use open logger adapters, L-O-G-G-E-R. It has to be open logger, L-A-G-E-R, or it will not work for this. Do not buy L-O-G-G-E-Rs. And a note before flying, you want to start recording your footage either at the same time for split cams or before you start logging in the case of a regular camera. This software doesn't like when your black box starts before your footage. Do not do this. Now get your ass out, get you some calcium, and get you some footage. Remember, strong bones, strong pilot. Alright, so now we got the Explorer open, we got our gyro data, and now we're going to sync it to our video. So we're going to open our log, pull the video in. So you click up there. When it's in, you just want to hit play. Now if you started your camera and logging separately, you're going to want to find the point where you armed in the video, and then you're going to go up to uh, log sync, and you're going to click start log here. So we find the point where we armed the quad and we pause. Okay, so we on the quad here, we're going to go back a few frames just to make sure we got like right on the spot. And uh, this should be synced now. So, your gyro should match your video now. You click start log here. This number becomes important. This is now your offset value. Copy it, leave this window up, do not get rid of it. We're going to export CSV and this is the file that we're going to load into the next piece of software. So just name that something that you'll recognize and save it in a folder where you'll recognize it. Alright, and now we've reached the final point before RS Go. We're simply going to load our video in here. We're simply going to load in the black box file we just saved, the CSV file. We're going to paste in our offset number from the start, the one that's right here, log sync. Start time is going to be 000. End time. For this one, you're going to want to go back to the video. Just one second, let me find the video.
We're gonna go to our video and we're gonna find the point in the video where we disarmed. At one minute. I disarmed at one minute. So we're gonna put one minute in here. We're gonna choose the profile that best fits our current camera. This, it doesn't have to be a GoPro. You just choose the GoPro profile that best fits your camera. Okay? Okay. So I'm just going to go um, session 5, 1080p wide. My camera angle, I'm going to say, was about uh, 20 degrees here. And we're going to hit process video. And if all goes well... Within a few seconds, you should be getting a message in your status box that looks a little bit like this. Okay. And, um, so now it's done. Now you've got your file that you can real steady. That file should be sitting in the Windows folder with your GP.exe. With your app. So this is the file you should be able to run through real steady. Let's see how it works out. And it looks like everything's finally stabilizing. So, just one more note. If you're running a run cam camera, sometimes you'll have issues with things not rendering properly. So what you want to do is you want to just clip in the beginning and the end of your video. And everything should work fine. So we'll hit save and we'll see if it renders. And look. Everything's rendering perfectly fine. Awesome. And that's the guide. More streamlined, mistake corrected. Big shout out to the guys who made this happen over on the FPV Stabilization Tools Facebook page. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this, if this helped you at all, give the milkman his doors and sub gently into my ear. GG, peace out.